I'm Casey Winningham. I'm a headstone carver and headstone restorationist. I carve in the old um, 19th century style with a chisel and mallet. I've been doing it full time for about 10 years. I carve only in uh, Indiana limestone. Uh, I've done some sandstone, some siltstone, which is a really fine sandstone, and slate, which is a real joy. Our limestone here is a little coarser in grain, and you can't get away with making a lot of real fine lines. This child's headstone was, uh, had fallen over and is, it was flush with the ground. Uh, it would only take a few more years for the turf to gradually grow over the stone. In exploring here, I found the base. Um, what I'm going to do is excavate the base, uh, put down a, a better material underneath it, and then uh, clean the stone and affix it to the new base. I've always liked cemeteries and um, looking at the uh, inscriptions, the artwork, watching how the motifs have changed. And I remember my grandpa walking me around the old family cemeteries when I was 10 years old and he was saying, oh, this is my, my grandfather's buried here. And I thought even then at 10 years old, uh, well, grandpa, when you're gone, who's going to know who's under that rock, you know? I began by recreating old headstones that were so far dilapidated, uh, fallen into disrepair that they could, could hardly be read. That, after a few years, led to actually repairing some that were able to be repaired. I think the uh, state of the art in uh, hand carved letters is in the middle of a resurgence. There are some exceptionally talented people, especially on the East Coast. There's a tremendous amount of people in England and all over Europe, uh, one fellow in South Africa. And because of the, the internet, I'm able to develop friendships with these people and stay in touch and um, see what they're doing, what their latest uh, venture is. Uh, it's inspirational when you see someone doing uh, really great work um, first thing I want to do is go out and do the same thing. I tell people if, if um, you're using anything in the cemetery that you can buy at a hardware store, it's the wrong stuff. Sometimes the, they're broken into five or six pieces, which I can put them together, um, but the end result really isn't as satisfactory as, as you would hope. At that point, I will put those together and I'll keep that stone there on the grave site, but I'll make a, a, a replacement stone and I'll match it as close as I can to the letter style, uh, the graphics, the size. But um, I find it very important to leave the original stone there because that's the stone that people have been coming to for 150 years to mourn. I think it's important to preserve these old stones um, if, if possible, just in a restoration effort. If not, um, then uh, replicating them. Um, I think it's just a respectful thing to do for those that have gone before us um, and for the descendants. If we can continue to do everything we can to preserve these for the descendants, I just think that's important.